This is Movie Turn. Leslie Mitchell reporting. Over huge distances, the American advance in the Pacific has moved forward towards the Philippines and Japan itself by a concentrated attack on the enemy's base at Truk. Powerful naval forces escorting aircraft carriers steamed into waters once regarded by the Japs as unapproachable. And as the force approached, enemy planes came up to drive it off. But flying into a hail of flak and a storm of cannon fire, they suffered extremely heavy losses. of the Japs had been shot flaming into the sea, American carrier-based aircraft went all out for enemy shipping, which had been sheltering among the lagoons. Warships and freighters took what evasive action they could, but they didn't escape. ships were sent to the bottom. Striking again and again, American forces continued to hammer shipping and defences at Truk during five days of blitz. Though the elusive enemy battle fleet was absent, the process of making its great forward base untenable was well and truly begun. Then sweeping northward to Saipan in the Marianas, 600 miles nearer Tokyo, the Americans dive bombed and shot up that island air base. These are some of the 135 enemy planes that never left the ground. Storage tanks and other installations also received thorough attention from American Avengers and other aircraft. Returning virtually unchallenged after a week in so-called enemy waters, carriers and aircraft had a great record to their credit. A dive bomber lands on with only one wheel, a damn good landing too. Great work by a wounded pilot, and great work by America's offensive forces in the Pacific. A map will certainly remove any vestige of doubt about the progress being made. It will also confirm the reasons why Tojo and his crew are now beginning to take such a poor view of the future. 